Hey, you're watching Volgar's videos. This is a video view on Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Okay, so I finally got it. We got it last uh, Thursday, and I thought I'd have got it a little sooner. Hopefully, I thought I would have because I pre-ordered it. And see, if you pre-order something, you think you get it before everybody else. But I guess it doesn't, ma it doesn't make any difference if you. Uh, if you don't pay the fancy shipping, I just paid two dollars for the standard shipping, which that's all the money I had. So whatever. It's better than this next uh, Wednesday. It said that's what it said in the Walmart thing. But anyways, I was discussing the controls because this is part two. Um, you can go to the GameCube controller as I explained earlier, or you can go to the Wemo. Okay, the Wemo is not that bad if you if you played if you like to press up to jump in previous Smash Bros. games, then this won't be too much of a difference to you, maybe. But to me, it's, it's iffy. Because, okay, you got the up button to jump, left to right tip is to move, of course, down to duck, of course. Uh, plus is pause, minus is to taunt. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, A is to taunt, or this one's taunt. B, Right here, that's shield. A and B is the grab. So you taunt the taunt button and the shield button to grab. Okay, that's, that works. Minus is to grab also. Uh, one is your special attack, like the, the, like the B button. And two is uh, attack, like the A button. And that's pretty much it. So you're holding it like this. And there's no motion sensitive controls. I mean, unless, uh, what was it? Here it is. Unless you go with the remote nunchuck, then the controls get really weird. Okay, then you can have shake smash on. So if you go like this, like jerk left, then it'll do a smash left, jerk right, and do a, a smash to the right, smash down. So on and so forth, down, up, and I haven't really tried it out that much, but uh, I don't really like the two control, the nunchuck and Wiimote setup. Okay, if you do it that way, your controls are, okay, this is to move, uh, C is to jump, Z is to shield, and uh, A is attack, B is special, um, A and B is grab, which is a good combination, I guess. And then you have these two buttons way down here to taunt. Up taunt, down taunt, and then at the same time is side taunt, the third taunt. And up is jump, and then left and right is grab, and then down is shield. So I don't know, I just I I wanted to, to make it work like this, but I just I just couldn't feel it, and I just couldn't get used to it. And if I can't get used to it, and I'm a, a Smash Bros. fanatic. I mean, how could somebody that, how could some newcomer, some newbie, some new person never played, picked up a Smash Bros. game, figure out, figure it out for themselves if the buttons are that weird? So I don't know. I say just stick to the game controller. It's the simplest, easiest way to play. But then again, you can customize controls to whatever you want. You can set it to have the up to jump, because I hate to press up to jump, because sometimes I press up on accident. Like, what I want to do is up move, and I'll hit up, and I'll accidentally jump. You know, an up kick or whatever. So you can turn it off. Uh, you can set the controls pretty much anything you want, but you can't make, like, the up uh, a button or whatever like that. Other than that, you can set any button you want. Um... Actually, you can you can set the up to attack. It just depends. But yeah, it's fully customizable. And you can test it. And you can test it before you do it. All right. So uh, how much time I took it up? 4:34. Oh, crap. Um. Okay. So this is part two. I think I'll make a part three of just me and my brother fighting each other and showing off our favorite characters. All right. See you in part three. Hopefully.